yeah. I like the way this guy's looking. Now this is really a little thicker paint on this than I generally use. Uh, I usually like for it to show through. I don't really like using thick paint on a carving because it makes it look plastic to me. Now that that's preference, personal preference, but that's just that's the way it is. The same way I don't like to see carvings, uh, the kind of carvings I do anyway, be real shiny. I don't like a lot of gloss. Maybe a semi gloss, maybe a matte. Oops, a little purple on his forehead. Alright. I know y'all can't see this very well, but I've got to be able to get to it. Okay, I'm going to turn this camera off for just a minute and finish the detail underneath here where you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But as you can see, he's starting to look kind of like a wizard. So I'll be right back. Okay, while y'all were gone, I finished painting and a little detail and everything up in here. And now I'm going to take my some of them by a flesh color that I had left. And I'm going to put a little drop of this red right here. Like this. And I'm going to take some of this and mix it with this red. Like so. And make it just a little... A little bit of water, just a little, a little bit more maybe. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put that on his lip right here, so that you can. And I may have it a little too much red. May not. worried about that because I'll fix that part in a minute. Okay, it's a little more red than I like, so watch this. Just going to kind of get a little bit of it off. Come back, put some more water in it. Until it's... Dab white in it. Lighten it up just a little bit. Okay. There we go, that's much better. Okay, I'm getting a little sloppy. That's okay, because I can come back and fix that. I'm going to brush it out a little bit. Get a little bit of this. Just come back here and fix that. See, you can always fix it, it's, it's not that difficult. All right, now, if you wanted to, you could actually thin this down and a little more, and I do this on Santa Clauses a lot. And that's just come back and put a little color in this guy. Kind of right here on the end of the nose, up here in the cheek. Now, I've got this watered down pretty much, so it's not going to do a whole lot, but... Let that dry. And it gives him, you know, I don't know if you can see this or not. I hope you can. Let me get a little closer. It gives him just a little bit of color to his cheek there. Okay? Now comes the, well, it's not really the hard part, but it's the uh, part where you got to really bear down and do good, and that's carving. Excuse me, car, not carving, but painting the eyes. And what I do first, the eyes are the only place where I'll use uh, paint that's not diluted. Now I'm going to come back over here very carefully and get some of this. I may use just a touch of water on my brush, if anything. And now I'm going to have to get where I can use my glasses so you may not be able to see this very well. I'm going to come right in here with a little bitty brush. 
in a very careful hand. And we'll paint that eyeball right there. A little more paint. And I know you can't see this, but just like that. And I use this cream white. I don't really like I like it better for an eyeball, uh, the white of the eye, than I do if you use uh, pure white. Okay. There we go. And this is where this uh, Optivisor I have really pays for itself so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And here in a minute when I go to paint in the uh, pupil of the eye, I definitely need it. Okay. <coughs> okay, I know that's going to be hard to see, but I painted the whites of his eyes right there, so to speak. Now let that dry just a minute, and I kind of like to use a blue a lot of times uh, when I'm painting an eye. I use browns. I use greens occasionally. <coughs> On this guy, I'm on. I want it to stand out, and this is actually a metallic blue sapphire, and I've used it for eyes quite a bit. This is made by Folk Art uh, it makes. The, Especially on a smaller eye like this, it'll make it stand out. Now I use it straight out of the out of the uh, bottle. And here again, you're not going to be able to see this very well. But I'm gonna... now don't put the eyes. I don't put the eyes right dead in the center. Put them off to one side or the other a little bit. If you put them right dead in the center, uh, it makes him look like he's at the thousand yard stairs or something. Painting this part of the eye is kind of tricky. It takes a little practice. But that's not to say that you can't practice doing it before you actually paint an eye. There he is. We've got a little bit of touch up I'll end up having to do. Now I've got to come over here and if you'll notice I've kind of got him looking that way. There's more room to the outside of the eye right there and there is to the inside of that. Now I'll try to match this over here on this other side. Same way. And sometimes I'll come over here and make this eye bigger and I'll have to go back to the other side and make it match.